What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 10 of the Summer Shredding Prep Series. Um, so today's a rest day, so what better way to film a rest day video than a Q&A? So uh, I post on my story, and I was like, ask whatever, ask away. Anything you want, I will answer with brutal honesty. And uh, there's quite a few questions. There's some good ones in here. I was just looking through because I needed to know, like, you know, what I had to prepare myself for. So... Um, there's some good ones, but uh, right off the bat, I mean, let's get into it right away, I guess. First question, do the carpets match the drapes? <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, I said I, I will answer with 100% brutal honesty. Um, and that's one way to start a Q&A. Yes, next question. Um, it just says, dumpy. So I'm going to take this and say... How did I get my dumpy? Okay, well, I can't really advise this, but I got really fat. That's how I got my cake, is I got fat. So, um, aside from that, squats. Squats and sumo deadlifts, kind of. I mean, there's there's two teams, okay? There's two teams. There's team sumo deadlift is leg workout, and then there's team sumo deadlift is back workout. I happen to have very big behind and very big back and also very big deadlift, sumo. So I equate both to that. But to be honest, for most people, squats. Squats is gonna get you the dumpy. Um, but yeah, it literally just says dumpy. So um, that's one way to do it. Uh, so next question, favorite cutting meal? Um, so to be honest, like when it comes to cutting meals, um, I already did like this, like my whole prep, you know, what I'm eating for prep. That's just like a souped up version of what I normally eat when I cut, like regularly, right? So um, I actually had this conversation with my friend the other day. Uh, when I lost like the majority of my weight, I would have rice in the Tupperware. Same thing, about 250 grams of rice, brown rice. Um, and then there were these things that you can get at Costco. They're called Just Bear Nuggets. I'll post picture here. And... Uh, those things were so good. Like the best tasting things ever. Microwavable. You could bake them, but you had to wait like 26 minutes, I think is the time to bake them. So I'll just toss them in the microwave. I'm lazy. Um, I would have that with rice and then just load, load it with sauce, like Chick-fil-A sauce, whatever. Um, and it was like only like 800 calories if you count the sauce. Like literally the rice and the chicken is like 600 calories. That's it and it was delicious and super filling. So for cutting, like I would have that. And then honestly, this is, this is just what I did. This is just what I did, not how you need to do it. So um, for cutting, I would have that as my first meal. And then that was filling, you know, that was super, super filling. So the rest of the day, whatever I really, I tracked my calories, tracked what I ate, just made sure to follow um, the caloric deficit that I needed to be in. And uh, I can have whatever, you know, I had whatever I wanted to eat. and. I lost all my weight that way, um, still worked out, did my cardio, stuff like that, but to be honest, that's that's how I lost the majority of my weight, it was rice and chicken nuggets, <laughs> so that's, it's quite the funny story, but um, obviously that's just what I did, so you don't have to follow what I did, but that is just how I did it, so um, favorite bulking meal, so I technically have never been on a bulk, I'm just going to take this as like favorite cheat meal, like what? What am I cheating with, right? I get I get one choice, one one meal. It's got to be a fat deep dish pizza. Like, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. So good. It's like my favorite. Or any kind of dessert. My brother likes to make you know random desserts and smoked foods. Um, so I mean, honestly, to be honest, like a brisket would be kind of fat too. But that's not really that bad for you. Um, but yeah, like desserts, like cheesecake or. There's, there's so many just like I'm a, I'm a sweets guy like I'm a big cookie big cookie eater like that's like um, but technically speaking I've never been on like a certified bulk like my bulk was I got fat because I was in a very dark place and that was like what I would consider my bulk okay but that's not a bulk so after prep is over though I do plan on going like on an official bulk um, but to be honest like I love what I'm eating for prep already so the bulk is probably just going to be bigger portion sizes of what I'm eating. Maybe minus the veggies because I don't really like that, but I'm a picky eater. But 
all things considered. Um, it's probably just like more serving size of that. Like literally rice and chicken. I, I love it. No complaints. So um, can't really answer that. But yeah, favorite like cheat meal, dude. Give me some pizza, man. Pizzas. Yes, and desserts, and desserts, cookies and stuff. Next question. What's the secret to becoming handsome? So, ironically enough, I was always ugly, and I still sometimes think I'm ugly, but I have my moments where I'm like, all right, you're looking good. But uh, I can recommend a few things, okay? What helped me the most is I think becoming handsome, I'm pretty sure this is, you know, this is like satire, but I'm actually taking this down the road. So, I think actually genuinely becoming handsome is hand in hand with becoming confident in yourself. Um, and so like things to build confidence. Okay, first of all, make sure you have a good smile. Like it is all in the teeth, okay? My parents spent a lot of money getting me some good teeth when I was younger. My teeth used to be like this, okay? My two front teeth were literally like a chipmunk, like that. I had had braces for like four years. Um, but anyways, teeth white smile like teeth whiteners number one like that is huge okay because if you want to be attractive you have to have a good smile and you have to show your teeth you know people are like oh it's all about being serious and all that stuff but like no in person i show my teeth a lot like i'm always smiling always that so teeth number one okay number two what helped me a lot tattoos right tattoos expensive but awesome if you get some good tattoos that's just like for your confidence level um so obviously i have one half sleeve and then this one's gonna be half sleeve soon too um and i plan on getting many more but uh yeah tattoos are huge 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 like so many people like them and if they don't you're so old like get out of here tattoos are tattoos are meta um but aside from that like get a good facial hairstyle you know if you can't grow facial hair stay clean shaven that's fine um definitely helped me his beard i actually have to like i'm probably gonna clean shave for summer shredding like for the actual competition so i haven't seen my baby face like bare face since high school so yeah it's pretty crazy but um i just went with this like i have a gap here i purposely shaved this it's not like i can't grow it purposely shaved this and then i cleaned this up so this is defined and the mustache is defined and then i obviously normally like keep it thin so it's like right above my lip um good beard and good hair that was the number one thing okay i was never a looker because i used to wear my hair up and i have a very large forehead which i'm not going to show because a lot of people will screenshot that and use that as bait later on but i used to have a really big forehead and it wasn't until i started covering it with like my actual hair i got a hairstyle that really fits me that was like huge i mean that was huge that was when people like actually like started like complimenting me on my looks was when i changed my hair um and then honestly big thing too pierce the ear i just got the nose piercing can't comment on that yet but i want the nose ring the nose ring is going to be such a confidence booster for me too i always hated my nose um but yeah just like little accessories you know like pearls just stuff like that open neck teeth you know show your collarbone show your traps that stuff is like if i take the pick the legendary pick with like my ultimate angle, smile, flash on the camera and a mirror, the way I angle it, everything like that, 10, right? So um, that's like, that's just like the funny thing, okay? That's like, that's just what I did. Um, but it's just, I feel like it's all rooted in confidence. So whatever's gonna make you more confident is gonna make you hand in hand, more handsome. Um, then obviously losing like weight, right? So I lost a decent amount of weight and that's why I'm handsome. The next question if you could train with one bodybuilder dead or alive who would it be and why so that's a really good one i had this whole conversation with my friend bobby like a few weeks ago he's like you know pick three pick three guys you would lift with um and my answers were joey swole so my name is davy swole and it's the same spelling as joey swole for a reason okay it's not russell russell he was an inspiration of mine, but he was not the reason I made my name Davy Swole. I made my name Davy Swole because of Joey Swole. Joey Swole, I don't know if he'd be number one. Um, Joey Swole, Seth Ferrosi, Christian Guzman would be my top three, okay? Probably, like Christian Guzman would be sick to lift with, right? For the 
business portion? Like what kind of like life, you know, not life, kind of like dreamer, aspiration, business, you know, or like the path that he took is the exact path I plan on taking. Like first step, you know, be successful with, you know, influencing, like, you know, garner, garner an army that supports me. Second step, clothing company, immediately. Clothing company is like the dream, okay? Um, I've had a, I've always wanted to own one. I'll get in that later because I read one of the questions. This is the biggest dream. So clothing company, okay? Take clothing company. Clothing company is successful. Continue going. Open gym in clothing company's name. After gym is open, continue to grow the clothing company until it's no longer a clothing company. It's like a mantra. It's something that people live by, you know? I want it to be legendary. And like everything that Christian Guzman has done is exactly what I plan on doing with my life. So, um, he would be an amazing one. That's like a really good one. But like, that's just like such a hard question because it's only one. Like Christian Guzman, I can learn that from. But then there's Seth Brosi. Like I, later on in life, I would probably choose Seth Brosi because, you know, the, in terms of life advice, right? Just life living. He is one of the hardest, hardest people on the planet. Like hard mentality, all that stuff. And then he's also a dad. And so like, that's why like, you know, if I was a dad, that would be number one right away. Like he's just like, the life that he lives now, you know, at his age, being a dad, being a big lifter guy, all that stuff, I'd love it, you know? And then Joey Swole, I've always just like, I, I, don't, I always just love the image of Joey Swole. Like, and now he's going down the whole path of like creating positive gym culture, which is beautiful. Like I love the guy. So honestly, like right now at this moment, Christian Guzman. And then the fourth option was Kevin Lebroni. Just, he was like my favorite old school bodybuilder. He was like so strong. Like I used to watch like old school bodybuilding videos of this guy doing incline for like five plates for reps, which was ridiculous. So um, Kevin Lebroni would be a good one too. But right now at this moment, Christian Guzman. Biggest dream. That's the next question, biggest dream. Clothing company, clothing company. Can't talk about it for legal reasons, right? You gotta get the name and everything all trademarked and blah, 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 blah. But the clothing company, um, I can, you know, I can say it's on the idea of the fact that like people who wear my clothes would feel good, you know, better up here if they're wearing it. Um, that's pretty much all I can really talk about, but it's this clothing company. It's the idea of something that appeals to more people than just in fitness and it's universally able to help like people. Like I want the clothing company to become like an image or an icon, this iconic sort of symbol at some point uh, to the point where one day like you'll see somebody wearing it and you know that like, it's pretty much like, that's all I can really talk about. But um, you know, I just, I want it to be like one of those where like you, you see somebody wearing it and you know, like you just, you know, right? Like that's somebody like me. Okay, so um, that's just like, that's the dream, is that company. So um, apologies, I'll be able to talk about it eventually. I promise you it's gonna be the logo that I have planned, the name, genius. It's so smart. Um, next one, favorite food, favorite food, probably pizza. Pretty boring, pizza or cookies? Really, really a sucker for cookies, but like, yeah, it's probably pizza, like I'm just, Oh, I'm a sucker for pizza. Like that's just like there's a pizza in front of me and like I have like no holds bar. Annihilating it. Just destroying it. Peanut butter's up there too, but probably pizzas. Um favorite piece of advice I've ever been given. Um so this one's really hard. Like I you know, I haven't had any like direct conversations with like any like crazy like role models. Um but the first thing that comes to mind is is something that my mom told me when I was in high school. I was going to try out for a travel lacrosse team. Or I was on the travel lacrosse team. That was it. I was on the team. And we were going to do a tournament in Indiana. And it was a like a scouting term tournament. So like it's like where you go and you play and then like college coaches or you know, they'll look to recruit you, you know, if you're there. Um, I forgot the specific word, like combine, I guess. Um, and she told me to do my best because the best is all I can do. And that always stuck with me. Like that was always like something where I, I keep on thinking of it. I always think about it because it's always like, 
I'm gonna do my best because the best I can do is all I can do. You know, I can't do more than my best, right? That's not even possible. Um, but I know that like, I give everything my best because of that. You know, that's always in my head and it's always stuck with me. So like, you know, upon thinking of that, like, yes, that's actually a really good piece of advice because it's just like, you know, when you're doing something or pursuing something and you have anxiety about it, just do the best you can because that's all you can do is the best, right? And if you did your best and you don't get the result that you wanted, it's all right, because you know you did your best. You know you tried your best. You know, if I went to that combine and no coaches wanted me, I played my best out there. You know, I know that I left it all in the field. And yeah, it's actually a really good piece of advice. Holy shit. Shout out mom, shout out mama. <laughs> okay, um, that's really good. Uh, so next one best purchase hundred dollars or less so this is a hard one so like in terms of like fitness okay i would recommend a good pair of knee sleeves i think those are like the best because like more people squat than they do deadlift but if you personally my best purchase that was less than hundred dollars versa grips like the straps you literally like wrap it around the bar and then you just grab so like it makes the strap set up like that like nothing those were the best. Those led to all of my deadlift PRs. Like every PR I've hit was with those because my hands are weak. My grip strength this week. It's not good, but I equate a lot of my success in the gym to those versus grips. But also, you know, if you don't deadlift, a good pair of knee sleeves, like high quality. I, ha I wear A7 ones. Those are beautiful outside of gym. So this is kind of funny. I think my best purchase, because he also said um, within the past year, would probably be this guy, my earring. I don't know why, the second I got a pierced ear, my life just went blank this way because I got so much more confident um, in myself and in my looks. Like the amount of selfies I took, this thing, it's ridiculous since then. Since I got it, it's just like, my gallery is just full of pictures of myself. Like you would think I'm a full blown narcissist. But it's like a confidence mechanism. Like I, I was somebody who was never confident in myself or never really thought I was attractive. And so now that I'm like getting a little bit more attractive and I'm getting like confident in that, I take pictures to like prove it. You know, take pictures, take pictures, take pictures. I look good right now. I'm gonna take pictures. So I have like recollection. I have proof that I, I, I have proof that at this moment I believe I'm attractive. So it just helps you believe it as you go. So to be honest, this and honestly this, this was like. 80 bucks I think I love this thing. I don't take it off um but yeah kind of a lame answer I guess like there's like nothing that's really like super impactful for me um that like changed my life that's a hundred dollars less but those are definitely the the choices um become an IFBB pro but you have to use PEDs would I do that um honestly probably not okay at the moment bodybuilding is not like a crazy passion of mine I don't really aspire to be at the Olympia. I really don't know much about bodybuilding. I just do it because I really want to look good and gain muscle and be attractive in my, and be comfortable in my own body. Um, just building confidence. Um, you know, I, I, I mess around with poses. I hit poses pretty well. I'm like, you know, I learn new ones. That's always exciting. But like, you know, I wasn't somebody that was like watching if I'm going to get canceled for this. I wasn't somebody that was like watching Arnold and like watching these like crazy like bodybuilding videos of all these bodybuilders because like that was never something that I had really aspired to be I always wanted to be a professional lacrosse player that was like my dream so um like joining the IFBB like and you know taking that stuff like as of now at this exact moment I have no interest in so um no my answer is no to that spirit animal wolf um, it was originally wolf because I had that lone wolf mentality. I was like, I don't need anybody. Okay, but upon recollection, and that's why I got my first tattoo covered up because that meaning is no longer valid. I, I got a wolf tattoo because I was like, I can do everything by myself. I don't need anybody, right? So I got it covered up because that meaning is like no longer. I realized how much I do like need other people. Not necessarily need, but how much beneficial it is to run with a pack. And that's where I also say wolf again because wolves run in packs. And I firmly believe that if you have a core group of people that support you and run with you, you can do anything. So still wolf, but for a different meaning, not a lone wolf, a wolf pack. 
Favorite leg exercise? Leg extensions all day. Leg extensions all day. My favorite, 100%. Something about that, like that, that feeling. The only, the only lift in the gym where you get that feeling. You know that feeling on leg extensions. You're just repping out, like AMRAP, and you literally like want to die, and you're just fighting for your life. That feeling is only on leg extensions. I don't know why. It's the only time it happens to me. Love them. My favorite. I hate squats. I still do them, but I hate them, so yeah. And same thing with split squats. Those are even worse, to be honest. But yeah, leg extensions. Those those are my favorite, so. Um, next one. Camera's about to die, so I'm gonna pause this here and then I will see you in a second. Okay, beautiful. I don't know why it had a max time of 10. I literally have or I had a max time of 20 minutes. Um, and I had 10 minutes, I, now I have 10 minutes, I, I, I don't even know, it didn't die, I meant it was about to like expire, so, um, only two more though, so, uh, favorite artist, so this one's a little difficult to be honest, I've, I have phases, I go through phases of like, of certain artists that I really enjoy listening to, um, but personally, it would be like a pretty close, like three-way tie between Eminem, Logic, and g -Eazy. But here's my reason, okay? Logic got me through a very difficult point in my life. He's great. He's awesome. Every time I listen to him, I'm like, dang, this guy's so good. Not my favorite, though. Not my favorite. Love him. Love him. No, no harm to him. Not my favorite. Eminem, same thing. Got me through, like, youth. Like, I think I started listening to him in 7th or 8th grade. Um, amazing. Absolutely loved him. Just goaded. Just a great rapper. Um, and then G-Eazy. So, G-Eazy, I would say, is my favorite. And it's funny, I don't even listen to him all the time. I go through my phases where I'll, like, I have, like, a G-Eazy playlist, and I'll play it when I'm, like, in a specific mood, or I want to get into a mood. Um, I would say G-Eazy is my favorite because of one song, which is called Easy but spelled the way you spell Jeezy. Uh, so I brought up the lyrics because there was lyrics in a song I used to, I found this song when I was like, I think a sophomore in high school, I was like 16. And uh, I used to listen to this song and I remember I used to play this on repeat all the time in between classes. I would put my headphones in. I didn't want to talk to nobody in the hallways. Like, I did not have a good high school experience. That's a story for another day. But uh, um, I didn't want to associate with anybody or talk to anybody when I was going through the hallways. I just want to listen to my music. And I would just listen to Easy on repeat. It was, like my favorite song. It was my favorite song. Um, and it was my favorite song because the first, like, I don't even know. It's, it's called, like, Stanza, I think. The first, like, paragraph or whatever that he's rapping through. Um... It's a, it's a letter to himself. The song is a letter to himself. And so he talks about being 14 years old, which is, you know, it was like around my age. I don't even know. I might have been 14 when I found this song. But, um, you know, he talks about being young. And uh, he's saying how, you know, you, you're trying to find your place, right? You're trying to find your place. It's hit me right away. I mean, right away. That's like the first sense of God. And he says, right now you're going through it. See, you're gonna have to prove that you ain't soft and you're not stupid. You're gonna have to scrap with some kids that you're not cool with. You have a short temper, just be careful when you lose it. You wanna be the man, but it's gonna take some time to prove it. That, <sighs> that, like the way he raps and everything like that, those lyrics, they resonated with me so much. And like, you know, he always ends all of them. Like, if it was easy, everyone would do it. And, uh, that this song every time I hear that like the, the beat right like the the second the song comes on like it's chills down my spine because like I used to play this all the time in the hallways and there was a few times where I like couldn't sleep so I would, I would play this song cry and just know that he was successful eventually going through similar things that I was going through so because of that specific song and then there's other ones but this one this one oh and it this the crazy thing is that it's a letter to himself and it's all the way through 
age 27 or 30. The crazy thing is the next one was 21. You think you've got it figured out. Oh my God. And the lyrics like hit again. And it's, it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. But this song just, it means it, 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 it changed my life, I guess I get. So yes, geez, he's my favorite artist. Listen to the song, listen to the lyrics and yeah, just, just thinking about it. I'm going to listen to it after this and probably cry, but it's, oh, it's something else. Anyways, let's get back to the Q&A. Happiest day of my life. <laughs> so, that's a, that's a, that's a good one. Um, that's really hard. I feel like I haven't had that yet. You know, I've had some good moments. I've had a lot of good moments, like days where I, like, deadlift PRs are always amazing. Like, the first time I hit 585 deadlift was, like, super surreal because it was on, like, it was on a day I was not supposed to max out. I was literally doing rep work with my brother, and it was just moving. We gave, we, we gave each other, we, we go like this. Because we knew, we knew it was going to happen, right? So, I got that, and, like, I always, like, got super nervous with people watching, so, like, my whole crew, like Bobby, Alex, Chris, they, they ran around and then the, the, a bunch of, I think Zach was there too. Um, a bunch of the barracks boys like ran around the corner and were like watching like on the corner to see, you know, if I got it and I got it to like my knees and then I locked out like immediately and I, you know, in the video I look over and I'm like, yeah, I did it, you know, six plates. That's like a really good one. Um, but to be honest, like happiest day of my life, it's kind of, it's kind of messed up. Like, haven't been very very happy i'm gonna go with my sister's wedding i was 18 years old and this was my senior year of high school um it was an amazing day just like the whole thing like super surreal super crazy like i have one sister one brother and this is my older sister getting married to somebody who i obviously approved of like loved him too and uh you know, seeing my parents like super, super happy and just like whole families there. Everybody's happy. Everybody is so, so happy. Um, and I was dapped up. Like <laughs> I had like a tuxedo, everything. I was like good. And uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of the pictures from that day are like super memorable. I mean, that's like, that's what I would vote as my happiest, happiest day in my life, probably. Um, to be honest, that's like, uh, I'm hoping hoping to trump that you know I don't want somebody else's glory to be my happiest right so the goal is to is to beat that day but uh yeah as of now it's like the only thing I can think of I read that when I read that I was like it's a really hard one like that's a really hard question but uh yeah my sister's wedding it was a great day it was a beautiful beautiful day like just awesome great time and it was actually like literally like the technically I think it was like the second time I ever like drank a little bit no, and I wasn't, I wasn't, I was not of age, and I was very lightweight, and, uh, it was, like, the second or third time I ever did, and, um, so, yeah, like, that, that made the wedding, like, even more lit, because I was lit, and it was just, it was a good time, it was, yeah, uh, but, yeah, it was, that was a good day, I would say that's probably the happiest I've been, um, happiest day of my life, which, that's really unfortunate, because that was four years ago, <laughs> we haven't, we haven't beat that, so, if anything, everything went <laughs> so, um, we're trying, we're trying, we're, we're getting there. I, I can see, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, we're, we're almost there. So yeah, I have a feeling like show day, it's going to be like a day I'll never forget, you know, for this whole series, like everything and editing everything and then posting that video, like it's going to be crazy. So, so yeah, that is the last question. Um, so pretty good ones in there. Pretty good ones in there. I was hoping for some like more deep stuff. Um, we did get deep on a few of them though, so I'm glad because I like doing that. I like having deep like intellect intellectual talks with people. So um, I think that was good. I think that was a good Q and A. Um, quite long. Uh, apologies, but again, these rest day videos are like if you really just want to tune in with me. Like it's like no workout edit no workout advice just like me being me so but that's actually kind of lit like i like that so um i hope it was entertaining i hope you learned some new things about me feel free to dm me if you ever have any questions like that stuff but i hope it was a good video no crazy edits in this one just 
me being me. So um, that's always fun. So um, I definitely want to do this in the future too because this was enjoyable. Like this is like super easy to film too. Like the other ones it takes like five to six hours to film and then like three hour, three plus hours to edit. So it's fun doing it for for everybody. So um, yeah. So anyways, if you made it this far, please drop a like and a comment. Those help me a ton. Please comment. It helps me so much. It really does. Uh, subscribe if you like me, or if you learned something new from this Q&A. If you enjoyed me from this Q&A, whatever, subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And as always, have yourselves a damn good one.